Welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining me once again. And as always, my goal is to keep my subject center camera and not go off camera as I work. But, um, so I've decided talking on videos might be a good idea because. I am too lazy to search for music that is long enough for these longer videos that are um, shot in real time and um, and it's good exercise for me to practice talking as I'm working because as soon as my mouth moves my hand stops moving Gah. so <laughs> see see watch Okay, the other danger of me talking is that um, you guys will find out how little I know. Uh, <laughs> not just in general, but, but about comics, for example. And, uh, a, you know, don't hate me, guys. Um, but anyone who knows anything about my history... Um, Comics is new to me. I did not grow up reading comics, so um, I my entire career in comics has been crash course in comics. So, for example, I am inking a character from um, fill-in issue of the Terrifics, and. I, as in <laughs> most of the time I'm inking, I don't know the name of this character. So, yeah, gasp. So, um, yes, so I did not grow up reading comics. Um, but I'm learning, I'm learning fast. And, um, and I thought that these videos in real time and me talking would allow me to answer a lot of questions that maybe I can't get to on Instagram. Um, Twitter I'm pretty good at because I don't usually get a ton of questions or comments or even likes <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> it's it, it, it's slow progress, but I'll keep at it. Just like comics, just like everything else. It takes time, I know. I know, I know, I know. It takes time and and I don't quit so easily. So so lucky for you guys. You're stuck with me for a while. But um as I was saying, this is a film in for um, the Terrifics, and the pencils are by Joe Bennett, um, who pencils very, very clean, very tight. There's, you know, there's not a whole lot of guessing in what he wants. Um, and I mean it's you know it's it's clean it's perfect so the challenge here is like with most inking jobs it's gonna be little subtle things that you can do to hopefully make it a you know a little better than than how you received it when I say a little better I, I don't mean in the drawing or anything like that I mean pencils are good and drawings are good as is and you just want to be able to at least maintain that you never want to go backwards but if you can add like a little something to make it a little more fun so at least um I don't know um don't take away, add a little, but don't go crazy. 
So for me, maybe I'll add like some of these little, you know, like you see a lot of inkers adding like little spatter. I want to say splatter, but I think it's spatter. But um, just a little something that is kind of fun for you to do too, whether it's like, you know, slightly um, changing line weights or whatever. But inking is just a whole bunch of little subtle things that you hope in the end makes a, a you know a, enough of a difference that you um, that you you know contributed and that you've made some kind of an impact and inking someone else is very different from inking yourself in my opinion I don't know maybe pencilers will have a different opinion on that but inking yourself, I think um, you're still, your, your mind is still working as like, as you know, as the penciler or as the artist. But when you're inking someone else, you have to make a little bit of a shift, I think. Um, you definitely have to figure out The, the penciler's language, I think I've said that before, but it still comes down to that. It's um, not, and I guess, you know, some people have said you're, you're trying to finish someone's sentence, but it's not even really that. It's kind of, I mean, I guess that's a good way to describe it too, but it, to me, it's more like trying to figure out someone's language and to continue on that um, because you don't want to change it but you do want to make it a little better somehow you know again when I say better I, I do not mean make the art better So, um, as I'm inking, rambling, no idea what I just said, but, um, <laughs> but hey, you're not stuck with having to listen to the same music that I always put on when I put up, um, when I post long videos. So, anywho, yes. Me talking, answering some questions that I was not able to get to, uh, or I'm not always able to get to on like Instagram or Twitter. Um, and, um, and Instagram is kind of weird now because I don't think I see all the comments because I know, I know that you guys are all like commenting and I know people have lots to say, right? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they're just blocking it. It's not because you guys are being quiet there, but because <laughs> you guys care so much about what I'm doing, right? So, anyhow, um, the questions. One, of, so I'll try to use these sessions on YouTube to answer those questions. So again, I'm making you guys cross over. Um, one of the questions that I get. Um, it's more, I guess, more of a request than a question. Is um, a request to, hey, can you review my work, or you know, can you coach, or can you give me um, some tips, and you know, um, basically requesting for private or individual, um, you know, like coaching or the review I'll, I'll be honest um i even just going on and posting and um reading and answering comments is you know it's um it's already time i'm borrowing from work that i'm already behind on i am usually 
pretty booked and often already late on work. So I'm really not able to go and coach you guys individually because um, there are a lot of you guys and there's, I mean, you know, I, I would love to, but I, you know, what, I, I can't just pick one or two people that, because that wouldn't be cool, that wouldn't be fair. So, um, and even with that, I think I'll be making um, promises that I'm afraid I won't be able to keep because I don't want to, you know, get started and say, okay, I'll come over and check this out at this time and not make it. So, um, anyhow, so the problem is time and, um, it's, it's really, it's impossible to, to, you know, go in and do all these individual sessions. So I hope these little videos that I'm making, um, which is my goal for doing these videos on YouTube, because I think that, um, it's important for you guys to see what, like, what real work in comics is like, what it looks like, and what we're doing, and and it's from um, someone who is actually working in the industry, and um, and the things that you know, um, you know, the the problems or issues or samples of what is really happening. Um, I think you know it's kind of fun to see, and also hopefully I'll address some questions that you have or. Um, you know, stumble on some tips that might be helpful for you guys. So it's just hopefully sharing information that you might find helpful or useful. Because um, it's not a mainstream kind of job where you can just go and get information. So hopefully these little videos will help you. And I will answer questions, so feel free to ask them. Even if I can't answer them at that time, I'll make note of it and try to address your, your questions and such. Okay. So, yes. So this wonderful, wonderful fella here. Um, I'm inking everything in brush just because it's what I have right now. And, um, and inking with brush is kind of cool because you can just go in and fill in, with, fill in the blacks as you go. See, like little squares like that. So um, let's see. I I don't have any special way of approaching. I just kind of go in and whatever looks interesting, I just jump right into it. And um, unfortunately, sometimes that means I jump around the page a lot and <laughs> and. Um, This paper absorbs ink very well, so I don't have to worry too much about, you know, uh, wet ink. But when I do jump around, like, I have to remember, oh, that's a wet spot. Smearing is so much fun. So, here we go. You can do anything with brush. It just takes practice. Once you get used to it, though, it becomes, like, really a great tool to use. Okay, so I get 15 minutes on YouTube, and I think my 15 minutes is almost up. Yep, it's almost up. And I'm sorry I did not finish this whole head for you guys, but, hey... It's a little mystery, so you guys will actually have to buy the book and see how it looks. But when you do see it in the book, though, it will be <clears throat> colored and reduced. So maybe I'll post it on Instagram, or maybe you guys will have to buy original art. Ooh, how about that? Let's do that, guys. Original art. <laughs> 